Welcome to my channel, Pointing with Maserati. I am going to be doing a small TJ Maxx haul. Um, yeah, so before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So, you see two items here. Well, you see plenty of items, but the two that we're going to do are these two. Sorry, someone's throwing up. And... Let's begin with a big thumbs up. Okay, so we'll start off with this one first, since it's front and center. Let me like lift this up so you can see it more. Okay, so this one is the, I'm not going to say the first name, first name, but the first one correct, in Musa, but it is the uh, limited edition. It is a Puerto Rican pot, so it's caldral Boricua. 24 centimeters, 3.5 liter, and it's aluminum. So you cook, like, you could cook your stews, your sauces, your rice, um, Puerto Rican rice, things like that in here. So it's in Spanish, so I'm not going to be able to read all of it to you. I only know some things, but if you look it up, it'll be... Great. And it's a 3.5, I said 3.5 liter, right? So it has, see, I, I couldn't even tell you what this says. Fondo. I have no idea. I don't want to say anything crazy. And then accessory. And it has the, the star. Okay, because the Puerto Rican flag only has one star, and then it has the red, white, and then the blue. Look how nice that looks. I love it. These will last you forever. You can deep fry in this. Not that anyone should deep fry, but you can deep fry in this. And make beautiful pork chops, beautiful chicken. Um, you can uh, saute your steaks in here and make a lo like a lomo. So it's beef steak and a sabo, I think. I don't know how you say the onion. I call them sabelitos. But you can make beef steak and onion, and it's really good. Again, I'm only half Puerto Rican, so I don't know all the, like, how to really speak it correctly. Um, my father was full Puerto Rican, and he only spoke Spanish, and then once, you know, we were getting older, he wanted to teach us. We really didn't want to learn. Now I wish I would have. So the next thing I got, oh, I forgot to tell you the price. I'm like, the next thing I got... So this here is backwards, but it's fourteen ninety nine. It says home goods, but I got it at TJ Maxx. Okay, so then the next item, which is the same people, like if you look at if you have a credit card from them, it's the same people. And I had a twenty dollar certificate for shopping there on the credit card. Okay, so daily planner. It says daily planner date. Monday through Sunday, schedule from 8 to 8, number one goals. I don't know what this is because it's blocking. And then it says notes. We could take it apart. I'm thinking of putting this in my, is this an 8.5 by 5? Oh, we could do a few pages and see. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this little handy dandy mark, mark store. I was going to say, really much already, happy planner. And um, let's hope punch a few pages. So I'm going to move this out the way since we've seen this. And I am dying to see this. So here is... It's not saying TJ Maxx, but it's $4.99 compared to $8. And it's by Graphic. Graphic. So let's go ahead and open would scissors be appropriate? You know what? I already messed this up. I mean, I'm not going to get it back to the way it looked. So I might as well just go like that. That's already why are you taking a long way? Okay, there we go. Simple, easy. You do not see me throwing that on my desk. This plastic. 
when I have a garbage can right next to me. Yes, I did. I love the color of it. It's super cute. I don't know if it's... It has 150 sheets, if I didn't tell you. Okay. You know, when scissors are right next to you, the garbage can is right next to you, you would think you'd use it. It says large notepad. Um, it does not have the size. Oh, it's only one sided. Okay, no big deal. Let's grab out of my little purse my notebook which is going to be I'm just going to use this one I think it's do I have receipts in here? yes I do I think it's going to be a smaller wider size if you figure it's on desk so it might be a little bit off. We'll see. So let's grab a few sheets. Oh my gosh, is that really glue? And so now we can see what this actually means. Okay, so schedule again, 8 to 8. Number one, go today. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and notes. How cute is that? Okay, let's move this out the way. Bring what we need and might be too many we'll do two so far okay so you just want to kind of like gradually put it in between each other because clearly this is what how many one two three four so that's eight that's not too bad okay so it's there See this one again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want eight. So in a way to tell if you have it lined up correctly and in the same spot well hold on, let me fix this. Okay, here we go. So bringing it down and over to right there. And you can always mark the spot. Okay, let's see the moment of truth. Alright, let's get this back. I wish I had like a sleeve you could put it in, but it does not. Alright, so this is my faith notebook. But we're going to go into this section here. Because this could be something you're doing for your faith. It doesn't look too bad. If this was the only section without the paper, I think this would work. As far as it'll hide, you know, what it needs to hide. But I think this would work. If this section was probably in the back, there's so much I'm doing back here. And yeah, I think it would work. So you could have like your prayer time, your quiet time, your. I mean, you could do your perfect lunch and dinner, like. You're keeping track of it. Your notes. It could be prayer. It could be prayer up here for today. I think this would work. And then you have so much space to do whatever you choose on the back. But I think this would work in here. Like it's a good, good little planner. Or I could put it in my regular junior size planner. They call it junior, they call it half letter, and they call it A5. So this one clearly is a little bit size-wise differently. It's not saying the size, I don't think. What did I do with that paper? I did not just throw it away. How the hell do you lose things? Well, anyway, because I just, I think, lost it. Yeah, I probably did. Oh, here it is. That I finally throw in the garbage. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so it's not saying the size at all. So you figure it's in between 8.5 by 11. 8.5 eight by 11. I was right, no it's not. 
uh, A5 size or junior or whatever, but like dimensional is a little off. So it's an in-between size. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.